Well, a little 4320, I bought it out of the Ritter, Louisiana, and it has 1,200 few hours on it, and it is the original hours. The tractor stayed outside quite a bit, so it was faded, and I wanted to restore it, and, and only 1,200 hours, 4320 I've ever come around. So we, we redid it, and a few years ago, it's, it's an older restoration but it, it's like driving a new tractor. And I never drove a new 4320 in my life, but this is about as close as I'll ever get, I'm sure. Uh, dual remote and dual PTO and uh, three point, it is a 72 also, this tractor. The last year model built and really runs nice and just a good, really sweet tractor. Never hooked anything to the back of it. The PTO has never been used. It never had anything slid on the PTO shaft. The original paint is still on the PTO shaft of this tractor, but the tractor wasn't ever hardly used. It just, it just sat outside. But mechanically, it was, everything worked great on the tractor. You know, it just, it, it just didn't need anything but a, but a cosmetic uh, restoration. And this has been about seven or eight years ago. It's, it's not a fresh one, but it, it's nice. It, it, all it's ever done was pull floats and a parade. It'd be a shame to put it to work. So. <laughs> it's just a, a beautiful tractor and just a, a really nice part of history that you just don't get to, to find very often. You know, and these tractors have character. The, the people that built these tractors and drove these tractors had character, and, and it's something we're missing these days. And, but it, it's just something that we have to preserve.